Pure Gravel Show, and I am joined by Katarina Nash. We got a five-time Olympian, and this is her first go here at the Belgian Waffle Ride. All right, so Katarina, what brought you here? Well, a uh, few different factors, you know, like uh, I have some friends in the area and okay. they kept talking about Belgian Waffle Ride for a few years and they kept saying you have to come, okay. you have to come visit and ride it. And so it finally happened and uh, I haven't done tons of the long distance gravel, but okay. you know, it's it's time. It's time in my it's career time. to give it a go. So I'm excited to be here. It's time in your career. And so <laughs> speaking of your career, uh, you've spent 20 years with the same program. And what I kind of want to highlight about you, and I think it's so exciting we get to sit down, is I believe that you are the most experienced athlete here <laughs> at the event. Male or female, these world tour guys need to sit down <laughs> and talk to you about race prep. So maybe give us just a little snapshot of, of your career. I mean, I definitely consider myself a pretty diverse athlete. I wouldn't say I'm the most established or accomplished athlete out oh, here. No. We've got a pretty good, uh, we got a pretty good uh, lineup. And uh, but no, I, I've been fortunate thanks to Cliff Bar. You know, I've been fortunate to uh, kind of get an opportunity to race a little bit of everything, yeah. whether it was uh, pure cross country mountain biking, endurance mountain biking, stage racing. Uh, obviously, cyclocross was uh, and still is kind of big, big thing for me. Uh, I even done EWS, which is Enduro World Series. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I've also done a tour of California and a bunch yeah. of little bit of road racing, you know. Yeah. So I, I've got a pretty good mix. I've definitely done tons of gravel. Um, I rode gravel as a kid growing up in Europe before we called it gravel, you know. So <laughs> You're I've, just riding I've, your bike. I've yeah. ridden all the bikes. I, you yeah. know, in theory, I've definitely got all the skills. But the hundred mile mark and the, you know, above yeah. that, like that's still, uh, it's it's new to me and it's kind of exciting because you can have this like. 25 year old career and still discovering new things which is great i love oh. that about cycling that you gives know, me like the chili bumps it's never it's boring like you know it's never boring and yeah. i definitely um made an effort to keep evolving and trying yeah. new things because i don't want to race the same thing every weekend anymore you know so no it's so smart and and when you say when you hit that 100 mile mark like you were racing at you know world cup cyclocross races that were an hour long maybe. yeah yeah and so if this is very different, you know, the, the demands <laughs> of your competition wasn't 130 miles, right? Sure. And, and as you evolve, um, you know, you spent many years racing the World Cups, right? And, and not just showing up at the World Cups, but you were in contention. So how many World Cup of the cyclocross did you podium at? I podium at seven, well, podium many, many. I don't yeah. know the number, but yeah. I won seven cyclocross World Cups and one mountain bike World Cup. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. That's so exciting. And, and looking at, you know, heading it, we're almost to the Olympics here. You know, everyone's rallying to go to Tokyo. How many times did you get to go to the Olympics? Uh, I'm a five-time Olympian in two different sports. So okay. mountain biking and cross country skiing. Yeah. <laughs> so but, <laughs> when I say I've done it all, I kind of have. So in that, that's, I think, is a real testament to your engine. The cross country skiing now i i don't i don't dabble in such things but the <laughs> athletes that do we always know like that nordic skiing or that that engine you're able to build sure. allows you to not just dabble in all of these sports mm -hmm. you know disciplines of cycling um but have like achieve at a very high level yeah um and now i've seen you three times so far since we've been here at vwr <laughs> you were at the the gravel stoke ride yesterday with some pizza and there were some beers and there were baggy shorts and then I saw you this morning hanging out with the big group doing the, the burrito ride. Um, you're just embracing the event. Is that fun? Are you having a good time? I mean, I think that's why I'm still competing. Like okay. it has to be, uh, it has to be good balance for me. You know, yeah. there's that focus training and there is that uh, dedication to being, you know, fit and prepared for every event. But a big part of it is just being part of the community. Like I've yeah. had my share 10, 15 years of really being focused on that, like get on the plane, travel to Europe, come back, train, like don't have time for a lot of the fun yeah. events. And so Belgian Waffle Ride is just a perfect example where you can bring all the experience, the fitness, the seriousness on the yeah. day of the race yeah. 
but still have fun, be part of the community. And I wouldn't really want it any other way at this point. So if there is a burrito or beer yeah. and a bike ride and a bunch of cool people, I'd be there. <laughs> okay. All right. So note, you know, that this is a great way for you to have this longevity in the sport, you know, with your partner. And I think it's such a testament to your personality and to you embracing this whole, whole athlete aspect that you've been with the same partners for 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. I feel really fortunate for the support that Cliff Barr has provided me. I, I honestly got on the team as a, you know, early in my early twenties, okay. kind of thinking, I just want to finish college and while I'm <laughs> yeah. here in the U S I'll go back yeah. to Europe maybe one day, you know, yeah. and I really yes. taken it, um, onto a, a level that I didn't even imagine. You know, I became a very successful mountain biker, very successful cyclocross racer. And, uh, and now shifted, uh, shifted kind of that like World Cup focus into like all the other racing that cycling has to offer. And as we've seen the boom in gravel or like endurance mountain biking, stage race mountain biking, like, there's so much fun stuff to compete yeah. at. Yeah. And it's really kind of making us uh, sort of like a, older <laughs> older athletes who prolong yeah, no. our careers yeah. so it's it's the trend is is great and i i gotta say gravel's been uh something that i've been yeah. watching and uh kind of dipping my toes yeah. in for a long time now yeah. and i love where it's heading so right so you've done all the norcal events the grasshoppers the lost and found and now you've spread your wings you come to bwr <laughs> and i'm a little bummed out that we don't have one of your uh your special edition cliff bars with the picture <laughs> on the wrapper of yeah. you riding your bike. I saw that in the grocery store and I was like, oh my goodness, Katarina's on a bar. It was pretty cool. It was uh, probably, you know, like I obviously think about a lot of my athletic achievements, like I'm proud of it. Uh, but like seeing my face in the grocery store <laughs> on the cliff bar, like it was just like a different kind of athletic achievement, you know, yeah. and having I think the coolest thing was that like there's a lot of friends around the world that right. may not follow me on social media and maybe didn't know and they just came across of it randomly yeah. and like reached out checked in yeah. and so it was great it was a one year limited edition <laughs> awesome. uh you can still find the flavor uh that's cool <laughs> and uh yeah so i i it definitely felt like a big deal when i was on the cover of yeah, cliff yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> i finally cool. made it <laughs> you made it after all these all this time now so everyone if you see katarina out on the trail tomorrow or on sunday uh follow her wheel she's gonna pick great lines <laughs> all right as the most savvy and experienced rider here uh she's gonna be a lot of fun to ride with so uh hopefully uh hopefully the rest of them can keep up but thank you for joining us today thank you joe <laughs> fun to talk to you <laughs> Thank you.